order and some of the dates maybe don't agree. However, um, he did say that Joshua came here. He did say that the walls fell and it was a miracle of the Lord. And this was the first city that um, the Israelites came and conquered. I, I, this is what I would encourage you to take away from that is to just take the mental picture of this scene. You got the mountains of, of Moab. Uh, they've come across the Jordan River. You have the Judean wilderness in front of them. Um, yeah, the, the Mount of Temptation up here, yeah, it's as good a guess as any other place in the wilderness of Judea. So, uh, you know, there's tradition with the church, but um, that is something. And for all of you, how many of you got the kiss from the camel? That is great. And so when you get the little rash tonight, uh, don't worry about it. That's when you need to put your olive stuff on uh, your black wash yeah, what, what do you get kissed by the camel you put that olive wash on there you put some dead sea mud and then then just take a bath um so I, this is uh, i love this story so we're gonna be in just a few minutes leaving so we're in ancient jericho we're gonna be coming to what do you call it what? new testament jericho then we're gonna take the ascent that goes up um the road of jericho right to into jerusalem there's a story here, and I, I, it's one of my favorite stories of the New Testament, and it's in Luke 18, verse 35. And the reason I do is, as I read this, you know, Jesus had been performing miracles all over the land, and um, people have been receiving their sight, people have been raised from the dead, um, you know, demons had been cast out, and, and the word was all around of what the Lord was doing. And there's a man there who's not able to travel around Israel. He can't just get up and go wherever he wants to. And I just imagine him just thinking, and I'll read it in just a moment. If only I could see Jesus. If somehow I could get to him because he was a man in need. Luke 18, verse 35. Then it happened as he was coming near Jericho that a certain blind man, and we know his name. Anybody know his name? Bartimaeus. 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 Mark tells us this sat by the road begging and hearing a multitude passing by he asked what it meant um, verse 35 now I'm to verse 37 so they told him that Jesus of Nazareth Nazareth was passing by he imagined the way his heart must have jumped like finally and so he cried out saying Jesus son of David have mercy on me and those who went before warned him that he should be quiet, but he cried out all the more. And it's that part right there. You got a desperate man that has heard that there's a rabbi that's walking around, um, questions about is he the Messiah, performing miracles, and now he's going to walk by his spot of the road. And people want to tell him to be quiet. There's no way. There is no way this man is going to be quiet, even though they were you know telling him but he cried out all the more son of david have mercy on me so jesus stood still and commanded him to be brought to him and when he had come near he asked him saying what do you want me to do for you he said lord that i may receive my sight and jesus said to him receive your sight your faith has made you well and immediately he received his sight and followed him glorifying god and all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. That is such a tender, I don't know, just such a tender picture um, of the Lord interacting and this man being desperate and probably the most annoying loud voice you've ever heard crying out, trying to get above the crowd. And so um, we know what's on this road, too, is at this time that the disciples, the apostles, not the B-apostles, right? First team. This is where they had one of their great arguments about what? Who was that? Greatest. And so Jesus has been teaching them. Um, it's, it's just about a week or so as Jesus makes this ascent up that he's going to be um, crucified. And um, so it's not long after Jesus has uh, had this interaction. Uh, or the, me, they had this interaction. Who is to be the greatest? Uh, um, he sat at the table and began to wash their feet. Um, which was the lowest job, right? Nobody wanted to wash feet. But um, they had had the arguments who were the greatest, and no, none of them were going to wash the feet of another because, I mean, to wash somebody's feet was to admit 
that you weren't the greatest. And they were fighting about who was the greatest. So when Jesus rises from the table and girds himself with the, the, the servant's cloth to wash their feet, um, he was teaching them, you know, if you want to be the greatest, then, then be the servant of all. And of course, Jesus said, I did not come to be served, but to serve, to give my land or life a ransom for many. And so a lot happens kind of from Jericho going up and um, you can just imagine Jesus' last walk up, knowing that as he went to Jerusalem, um, that it'd be the, the last time he would go in there alive. The next time he comes back at a second coming.